online metro readers have been sharing pictures of some, have a look at these, less than perfect uh, lockdown bakes. <laughs> Here's a picture of, um, this is some bread baked by Kelly Hevel. I'm, um, I'm guessing it's sourdough. I'm it's like guessing. A massive that's, there's, cockroach. There's like, a, there's like a sourdough craze going on at the moment. Um, let's move on. Uh, this is banana bread <laughs> baked by Hend Amory. She uh, says it... It, she tagged it her shame and says it tastes even worse than it looks. I don't think you can have a bad banana bread, but that, yeah. Mm. And Kat posted this picture of her banana and egg pancake. I'm glad she told me it was a pancake. Her verdict was not great. Um, I did, I, I have did joined you? the sourdough craze. And uh, I mean, if I'd known that we were posting pictures, I would have posted a picture of mine. It tasted, the crust was good. But that, the rest of it... That was about it. We, I don't know about you, I, I was talking yesterday about um, in our house we've just started eating more toasties. Than we, think, we've always been eating toasties. Are you a regular? I think yeah. lots of people during the lockdown have no. got the toasty machine out and um, we're, we're conquering them. Oh, <laughs> every day. <laughs> Cheese and beans is number one in our house at the minute. Cheese? Really? Yeah, you just got to make sure that the... Uh, you've got to be very careful with your beans. Got to be careful. Don't use too many, and they've got to be positioned correctly in the bread. Otherwise, there's spillage. Sen can you send us in some better recipes for the yeah. um, toasties, please? Well, well <laughs> someone's shouting in my ear. Apparently, fish fingers and marmalade on toasties. That's Jonathan, who's trying. editing the programme today. Um, um, so all of us had to stay at home this Easter, didn't we, to celebrate within social distancing rules? And we asked you yesterday, oh, yeah. when you were obviously <coughs> celebrating Easter and not here, um, <laughs> to send in your <laughs> photos on the weekend. And thank you so much for those. Uh, Lorraine Porter sent us this one of her little Easter bunny, Bellamina the Schnauzer, oh, look uh, at who that. was delivering Easter eggs. Looking very I mean, happy as well. I, if those are real Easter eggs, they wouldn't have lasted one minute in my house. Um, Rebecca Gibson dressed as the Easter bunny for her son Mason and walked around their village waving at all the children, of course, observing, observing social distancing. Quite a worrying looking bunny, though, isn't it? Uh, here's Auntie Dot in her homemade Easter bonnet. This is sent in by Corinne Kelly. Oh, lovely. And uh, look at this wonderful Easter Day lunch, uh, which was left on Deanna Lloyd's doorstep by her kind neighbour, Cathy. Oh, that's lovely, Cathy. With a glass With, of wine. I know, well. look at the wine as well. Brilliant. And uh, this is Oscar the Cockapoo <laughs> <laughs> uh, sitting down to his very own lunch. Uh, this was sent in by Beth Harold. Thank you for that, Beth. Thanks for all those pictures. Um,